Hey Q Team, I just wanted to go over how to use the content creators forums on the Q Team 17 website. And you'll see here, um, now these are somewhat private forums, so you might not actually have access to see them. Um, and if you do not see them, then please DM me either on Twitter or on here or on Telegram, and I will give you access to it. Um, you will need to be a registered member of Q Team 17. And also, if you're waiting on your membership to be approved, please let me know about that. But so you'll see we have the daily feed, topics of priority, show scripts, media library, fake news, and baby Q proofs. And the way that this is going to be used is the daily feed is going to be where content creators look to find the latest research and its related media. Topics of priority is where Austin and Sabrina can go in and basically dictate which topics they see as the priority. So all the show creators, when they have a gap to fill or they, you know, they have a, a segment that's not pre-scripted, they can go in and find uh, the latest news that they need to cover or the topics that Austin has said, uh, hey, this is important and we want to we want to focus on this. So that's where you go to look for that. Then show scripts uh, is where I want to create a sub forum for every single show. So right now, if we go in here, I've only created one for what on earth ask Q. And uh, that's because if, if I go in here, there's an error right now where it says I have insufficient privileges to post threads here, even though I'm, I'm an administrator of the forum. So I've got to get that fixed. But eventually what I want to do is give a place for all show creators dedicated to their show where they can then post the script ideas uh, on the forum for then Austin and Sabrina to come and they can leave comments and give feedback directly on it. Um, that, that's not possible here just because of, of the error that I, that I said earlier. But... Um, the way they've been doing it is uh, if we come here, oops, oh, I just closed that. Let me bring that back up. You should not have seen that. So uh, this is episode worksheet for what on earth uh, ask Q. And as you can see, they've already planned out the next 25 episodes of their show, which is fantastic. Um, but one thing that's a bit confusing is if you come here, this is like the show notes for the big picture questions that Austin has asked us to cover. And in order to read that, you got to scroll through this little window here. You know, you can make it a bit bigger, but that's not the best way for Austin and Sabrina to, to come through and read and to get a sense for what it is. So I just I simply copied everything in here, went over and made a new new um, forum post in the What on Earth Ask Q sub forum of show scripts. I titled it by the show name, the episode number and then the name of the segment and then I just did a, bit, a little bit of formatting. You know, when I put it in here, I made this bold and a bit bigger and centered it and, and said the length of the segment. And then um, all the rest of this formatting came through from theirs, I believe. So, um, yeah. And, and then that's just a much more pleasing way for Austin and Sabrina to have to come through and, and talk about it. And then they can leave notes directly here and have a conversation with the show creator right here about their scripts. And so right now, again, I only have What on Earth Ask Q in there, and I would like to create one for every show that would like their scripts reviewed by Austin. So you can have your own sub forum, and I will make you the moderator of that. So you have the ability to create and delete posts in there. Um, and I'll also give that to Austin and Sabrina. But everyone else either cannot see it at all, that's up to you, or they can see it and they, they cannot post comments or post, or they can see it and they can just make comments on existing posts but not make um, their own posts. But that's that's something we can talk about uh, for each show creator that wants their sub forum uh, in the scripts. Um, now, if we move on to the media library, and this is where I want to start posting all kinds of media, existing media. So here's like a Ricky Gervais joke, uh, and I link directly to the tweet where I found it um, by this person here. So we can give credit where credit's due. And then they say that, look, it's the Tom Hanks joke at 17 minutes. You can play it here and skip directly to 17 minutes. Um, and then hear that joke if you wanted to. I'm not going to play it now, um, but that's the idea. And I found that just in the Q Crew official. You know, I, I saw this tweet here and I thought that looks good. Why not uh, put that into the forum to show how it works? Did the same thing here with this red pill report. Um, I saw this tweet on here and then I went and came here to uh, content creators and I put that in the daily feed. And there, so breaking FDA raids Genesis Church interview with Mark Grennan. You go in there, and what I've done is um, I linked directly to the YouTube show. And then, uh, let me pause this as soon as it comes up. 
Then I just went and I copied the YouTube show description because it actually had quite a lot of, of interesting information and including this link to the clinicaltrials.gov. I took a little snapshot of this screen here and then let me close this, close this, close this, come back to here. And then um, in the link here, I also just dropped that screenshot in there. So, so any media creators could easily use this in an episode. They don't have to go and do all the, the snapshotting themselves. My idea is to have the researchers do as much pre-work as possible to hand the show creators ready research for them to uh, actually start making a show about. And I want to show a really good example of that because here, Wayfair Conspiracy Dig by Theodosius. Now, this is another one that I found in Twitter. Um, here in the Q Crew, I saw Theodosius Crew Crew Official. Theodosius made this for any night owls, the Wayfair Dig. He made this, this uh, dig thread on Q Team 17, and I thought it was fantastic. So what I did was I put that into the daily feed. I named it Wayfair Conspiracy Dig by Theodosius, and then I just gave a quick introduction and then linked directly to his dig about it. So this way, the daily feed, we can either delete it if it turns out to not be worthy, you know, or we can downvote it so it doesn't show up in the top. But doing that doesn't affect uh, Theodosius's original uh, thread about it. So if we click on it, it takes us uh, here. It's in the operations research forum. And you can see he's gathered all kinds of material here. Um, Lisa May Crowley, he's got screenshots of, of her tweets and then even links directly to Wayfair employee notice, a direct internal memo about this conspiracy and how the, the staff is being ordered to react to this. Um, so that's really interesting stuff that show creators can use. And as you can see, his information just goes on and on and on, and it's really thorough. I really like him as a researcher, and I think show creators would do well to lean on his research. And at any point here, uh, you can quote it, you can reply, you can ask him questions directly and interact with him on this topic. Maybe even get him to do digs a bit deeper on the topic for you. And it's all here separate from, um, if I go back, it's separate from the daily feed. So then you could even put you know, uh, comments in here and start replying directly in here and ask him more questions directly here because Theodosius does have access to this forum. I made sure of that. He's one of my favorite researchers. Uh, so I gave him access here. But again, so that is the daily feed. And that's how I, I envision that to be used uh, within the content creators um, forums here on Q Team 17. I'm losing my voice because I'm trying to speak loud enough for you guys. So that, that's um, that, and then we also have the fake news, and Theodosius actually posted that uh, as an example dig. Uh, he put a link to it in this fake news forum. Uh, what we want the fake news forum for, he's done it properly here, but it, it's to document and track fake news stories in one searchable forum. So he's using that as an example of, hey, they're, they're trying to spin this in the wrong way, and he's documenting it. But this, this gives content creators a great single place where they can just come and find specifically fake news. They don't have to go digging through general research memetics. You know, that's for the actual researchers to dig in and, and organize it their way. And then we take what we like. I want to have some moderators who can take what they like and put it into the daily feed, media library, and fake news, or baby Q proofs. And again, baby Q proofs is a place to collect all Austin Steinbart as Q proofs. Uh, and this is for show creators, and it's just a resource. If you don't want to talk about that on your show, that's cool. That's your choice. Uh, but this is a research that we want. Uh, this is a research tool and a resource that we want to give to you, so that you can use when you do want to make a show about it. You can go to one place and know that you're going to find all of the best research from all of Q Team, whether it's here on the Q Team 17 website, whether it's in Twitter, whether it's in private conversations. I want this to be the 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 basically clearinghouse where we put it all. And now everything that I've, I've said in this um, video, uh, so you don't have to go back and watch a, a 10 minute video again, I put in a sticky on the daily feed and I just talk about uh, you know what I want the daily feed to represent, how I want the overall workflow to work. I highly recommend reading through that. You know, Volunteer researchers create news items, which is like a forum post, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then content creators can use that to make memes, articles, posts, videos, audio clips, whatever. Um, and then my overall strategic goal of uh, why I'm doing it this way and how I want to link it all together to basically create a video encyclopedia of the truth so that 
you know, we are, we literally are replacing the mainstream media. So I want to give people uh, the facts so that way they can fact check it for themselves and stop relying on, you know, the uh, logical fallacy of faith and authority. Uh, we can't trust these people anymore because they're the authority and we don't want people to trust us. We want them to do their research. So I want to be able to link every show. I want to be able to link back to uh, either, you know, items in the daily feed directly or items within the media. So you're basically saying, this is where we got the information from and you can go yourself and check it out. You know, maybe it'll link to forum posts in these forums, but um, you're finding that through the daily feed. So I'm gonna stop talking now, but I hope that this helps you guys. And again, you probably have your own way of working and I don't wanna step on your creative flow uh, because creativity is a fragile thing, but I'm creating tools that hopefully will be of service to you. And I want you to give me feedback and tell me this is useful. Maybe we could change it this way. Um, but we've, you know, Austin is extremely busy. I haven't even heard back from him in several weeks because he's just, since he got his internet back, he's, he's on a media blitz. And he chose us because he knows that we will get our stuff done regardless of whether or not he holds our hand. And so I want to create the structure for, for you guys to make it easier for you. So um, use it if it is useful. If it's not useful, don't use it. And if you have time to give me feedback and say, hey, maybe this would be more helpful, then do that. And um, yeah, where we go one, we go all, guys. We really are, we are changing the world. And, and this is how we take back control of the idea of information, as General Flynn said. So have a great weekend. And um, I look forward to seeing what you guys can create with this structure and uh, how we can improve the structure to serve you better. Talk soon, bye.